what is happening everybody you already know who it is you know what time it is today we doing something totally different man today we are gonna attempt the first catch and cook ever on Gone Fishing 804 we're gonna go after some crappy today and hopefully we catch some huge huge slabs that we're gonna you know do our thing with at the end of it so we're gonna try to catch you know 10 15 crappy and um you know release them into some grease i want to give a big shout out to everybody that's rocking with the channel man we are going up for 2020 you guys are amazing and you already know what time it is man we're gonna get on some fish we're gonna cook them up we're gonna eat them we're gonna have a good freaking time guys don't forget to stop by gonefishing804.com grab you some swag and um let me show you what i'm gonna be using today so today I will be using my, uh, tell you the rod first. My rod is seven foot light action, medium fast Fenwick Eagle rod. It's a two piece. It's a spinning setup. The spinning reel I got on here is a Shimano NACSI like 500, no 2500 reel. I've got 10 pound uh, Power Pro braid on here color is moss green and the lure i'm going to be using or something like that something to that effect is this uh crappy slider it's a pink 1 8 ounce jig head and then an all white crappy slider at the bottom of it and it's basically a small paddle tail and that's gonna catch them. That's all we need. This one rod. I didn't bring no other rods, no bad stuff, nothing. Today we are going specifically after some crappy. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get it. Oh, yeah, if it's your first time here, make sure you go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell notification. That way you'll be notified anytime I post something fishing related. Let's go. So we out here. We is out here, bro. It's kind of overcast today. And it's supposed to, it may rain. I don't know quite yet if it's going to or not. But it's supposed to rain. I hope it doesn't. So we're just hoping for the best. Hopefully we can actually finish the catch and cook here. If not, we'll have to go back to the house and see what we can do. But uh, we also got some wind today with the overcast conditions and it's blowing pretty good right about now. So we're gonna see if we can still maneuver around with this wind being the way that it is. But hopefully we'll have a good time. Get on some crappy, some slabs, and have a decent fish fry. confidence in this green this John Deere color in the crappy slider because I just got smacked quite a bit by a bluegill Pretty awesome. 
That's probably the biggest bluegill I've caught in a while. There we go. Numero uno. what it feels like. Yeah, it's crap. There we go. That's a little bit decent one right there. Kind of decent there, bud. Alright, hey, look. Chill. Yeah, he's alright. A little filet. I'm trying to get some upsize filet. Trying to get some upsides fillets. We gotta get some bigger fish. Oh my goodness. He's back. Oh, don't go under the pants. There we go, another little decent crappy guys. So that's uh, four I believe, four crappy. Bruh, just chill, you're making it worse, okay? Alright guys, so we have got all the fish we need to go ahead and fry these bad boys up. So I'm going to be using just some Kroger vegetable oil, some Frank's Red Hot, and you know, a, a special blend of fine seasonings 
for the uh, breading of these fish. We're just gonna really keep it simple. You know what I mean? We're gonna use the kiss method with. We're gonna use the kiss method with this. Keep it simple, stupid. So it's not that hard of a recipe right now. Just something basic, something you can whip together, real easy. So you already know what it is. Let's get started. All right, time to put this bad boy to work. This is a nine inch Kershaw filet knife. Pretty decent. Just got it, you know, brand new stuff. So we're gonna start. First, we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut right behind the gill, gill plate along this line right here, just like that. I like to lift the little fin up, you know what I'm saying? Lift the little fin up. Start right in here. Then I come from the back side. Actually from the back side, look a little indentation, cut as close as you can up here, Flip the knife over, press down on the flat part where he's flat as that. Put a little bend on, a little pressure on that knife, and just come all the way to the back. That's the first part of it. Now you're going across these little rib bones. I like to just if you can, just press down. Just press down on those rib bones and kind of go right along the top of them. Turn this knife around. Now, I ain't the best at filleting, so I know we got some seasoned vets out there that's probably talking about me right now, but that down like that. Yeah, I left a little bit right there. After you do that, that one little piece off, boom. That's your meat right there. Get you guys over there. And you take it, turn it over. Put some pressure on this back end. I like to put my hand down on it so I can keep that skin and the meat. Nice like that. Then you just slide that blade right on through there nice and easy.
So big shout out to everybody that's tuned in right now. This is Gone Fishing 804's first ever slab catch and cook. We done caught some fish. Now we for laying them. Then we're going to get this grease ready and throw them in there. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And, you know, we're going to keep getting out. I got one more fish to fillet. And then we're going to heat this grease up. And we're going we gonna to see what these things going to be hitting on. You know what I'm talking about? This is nice, man. I'm out here all by myself. Nobody around, no nothing, just me, nature, my little fish. With everything that's going on in the world right now, man, this is this is perfect, man. I'm about to cook me up a nice little fish dinner. And you know what, guys? I forgot to bring a freaking, I forgot to bring the beer. I'm tripping, right? I, I straight forgot to bring the beer, man. But um, let's go ahead and get these fish battered up and soaked in that water for a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and get to that. Guys, so we got the special blend of seasonings. Yeah, so that's how we doing it. All we're going to do is I had another, a couple other bags. I don't know where they went. So we're just going to take some of this. Dump it in here, enough to just barely coat the fish, you know what I mean? I don't want it, I don't want it extra thick. That's why I'm not using no like egg white or nothing to actually coat the fish. I'm gonna just take them straight out the water and just toss them in here, light, like a light breading. I don't want it extra thick. I wanna taste all of the fish as possible. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. But if you guys got some dope recipes, please, Drop them down in the comment section. And I'm hoping you guys will want to see another catch and cook. And if you do, throw a thumbs up, leave that comment, do another catch and cook, or however you want to put it. So, um, and, oh, and tell me what fish I should cook next besides bass. I'm not cooking no bass, okay? Oh yeah, it's about to be, these gonna be a missile. I'm telling you it's gonna be a missile. Straight up. The time is upon us. Just look. Just, bruh. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got one more thing to do. And then we're going to taste one of these bad boys. See what they're hitting on. Got to drop some of this. Got to drop some of that on now. You know what I'm saying? Throw a little bit of that on now. Look at that. Let me see. Man, it's still hot. 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 Nice one. Well, let me see. Um, um, mm. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Right crappy, man. Oh my gosh. Gosh. So. So delicious. So delicious. Mmm. Wow. Man, that's good. Guys, first catch and cook for Gone Fishing 804 in the books. We got some crappy here. I didn't have a I didn't have a freaking plate, okay? So I just used my mystery tackle box. It doubles for your lures and you can put your meal inside of it. What where else can you do that at? You know what I'm saying? So call some white crappy, cook them up, first catch and cook. Man, this is this was dope. I mean, caught them right there, over there. Caught these fish right there. Brought them back, cooked them up. Man, this is excellent. You guys want to see more catch and cooks? Please leave that down in the comments section. If you got any recipes for me, please leave that down in the comments section. If you like this video, throw a thumbs up. Also leave a comment. I mean, I'm happy, man. So I'm gonna just sit right here in this beautiful setting and I'm gonna freaking eat my fish man and I hope you guys have a blessed day don't forget to stop by gonefishing804.com and also don't forget to hit that little bell notification and smash that subscribe button you won't miss anything that I post fishing related especially catching cooks let's get it